What is up, guys, gals, and non-binary pals? It is your boy, the hunter, Victorian Genetics, bringing you a Avengers Endgame spoiler-free discussion. The spoiler discussion will come a little bit later. I have notes of all sorts. Like, I, I sit there during movies and take notes to try and discuss with people and keep it fresh in my mind and stuff. I'm going to probably see this movie at least one more time. It's that good, and, like, there's a lot to digest and just really want to see it all again. It's It was the same feeling with Infinity War, although I will say I think I liked Infinity War a little bit more. Again, need to see this again in order to be able to tell. But the movie's really freaking good. Like, the pacing, they paced this movie super well, which it's easy for a movie of this scale to have possibly ended up as, like, a, a low-scoring movie. Like, could be a train wreck if anybody's ever seen a train wreck crossover video game we all know but infinity wars was good civil war was really good most of the big crossover movies from marvel have been really good it's like usually when you get to looking at the standalone films where you're like well i can nitpick a few things and see a few issues possibly but this movie doesn't have those kind of issues The movie paces out really well. All the characters have a decent amount of time to themselves. Obviously, there's a few characters that get a little shorthanded. Like Captain Marvel only had, like, I think it was 15 minutes of screen time and stuff. But then there's other characters that you're not even expecting to have a crap ton of screen time. Like Rocket Raccoon and Ant-Man. They both had, like, each almost 40 minutes or so of screen time. Like... Wasn't expecting them to get that much, but super glad they did because they're some of my favorite characters. I mean, it's Marvel. It's so hard to choose exact favorite characters, right? Just they're all so good. But, uh, yeah, so pacing's really good. And I really enjoyed the way that the story played out. The the score was really good. The musical score. Uh, Sound effects, of course, were pretty good, too. The musical score elicits the feelings that it needs to elicit. It builds you up or keeps you steady when it needs to keep you steady and then slowly drops you down if the scene demands dropping you down. Uh, Yeah, the musical score was adding a lot. Like, this is one of those movies where normally in most movies, the sound it's like more of a soundtrack and the sound design is more of just there is a secondhand thing, sort of like whenever you play certain video games and stuff that like aren't RPGs or whatever, like you go play a shooting game or you play like a fighting game or something. The music can be pretty good, but it's kind of there as like a second thought to make sure there's not like a deadbeat silence. That's kind of what plenty of movie soundtracks can feel like. In this movie, the soundtrack felt like it complimented the hell out of the movie and they worked together really well. The acting was really good. There was no performances that I felt was like, uh, you know, none of that. They all did really well. Uh, The directing and all that sort of stuff, everything like pacing, writing, acting, all that was really well done. I liked it a whole lot. It felt like a lot of effort and thought was put into the movie and it felt like a very clear cut, like love letter to fans. Uh, I liked the story. Um, I liked the writing. I liked the jokes. The jokes all felt very, um, generic is in the word here. Organic. That's the word. They felt organic and like they were meant to be in there and like they had the base scene in mind and they worked on finding a way to deliver the joke in a way that would not kill the scene but add to the scene like they like it felt like they just knew we want some humor here let's get the base skeleton and then start adding what we want to it on it all felt really good i loved all the jokes uh and story is really well done the action is really really cool it's um, a lot of the action is like the type of action where you're like, I have to go see this movie again, like right now, because this is nutty and I need to get another chance to process everything because the action in CG and everything that went on in this movie was so freaking on point. Like I left genuinely hyped as all hell from it. 
Obviously, that hype is slowly dying down, kind of like when you get back from a concert or you get back from like, you know, whatever you were super hyped about for a day or so. Just a slow little, eh, and then you come to the realization like, oh no, I'm not as hyped for other Marvel stuff now that like this package has been kind of like, you know, wrapped up pretty, really nicely. This was a really nice wrap up. It wasn't like, you know, most or a lot of different trilogies and other various superhero stuff like that where it felt like it wasn't a clear cut wrap up or it was sloppy wrap up or whatever. This was really, really well done. The plot points all sold. They ha- gave all the characters plenty of time. There was plenty of moments for all the characters. They had good character development arcs for all the characters. It it was a really, really good movie. And I want to go see it at least one or two more times in theaters. Because I don't think I can wait for the DVD to come out. Uh, Yeah, so if I was giving it a score... I would probably go with like a 10 out of 10 for me, right? If I had to think super, super critically about it, which again, there's so much. It's a three hour movie and there's a lot to digest. So I'd have to really see it one more time to sort of get an idea. If I had to think critically, possibly, there's a possibility it's a 9 out of 10. But that would be like, I would have to nitpick the hell out of little itty bitty things. And there's only like one or two. There's like only a few scenes. Where it was just like a little bit. Ah, this might be a little bit. But they were still really good scenes. So it wasn't like. Again I'd have to nitpick super hardcore to say like. That scene ruined everything. Like everything worked. The story elements worked. The plot worked character interactions worked the, them talking with each other all of that stuff just it all worked so well I know I've said the word worked way too many times but that's because this movie worked and it's freaking amazing and I, I more of my thoughts on the movie will be in the spoiler discussion so if you have any comments to drop be sure to drop them in that video which will drop in a, a few days I have to edit it and uh you know all that good stuff but yeah let me don't let me know you let me know what you think of the movie in the comments or how hyped you are or what you think of marvel or whatever in the comments do not spoil for other people in this comment section if you go to the spoiler once it's up and you go ahead and drop some spoiler discussion there that's fine cuz if somebody clicked a freaking video that says spoilers it's their own mistake but let's be kind and courteous. Make sure people don't get spoiled because that, that junk sucks a whole bunch. I'm just I'm just hyped. I'm happy about it. I want to talk about it with people. I want to go see it again like right now. So good. Just so good. All praise be to the powers that made this movie and this awesome universe that got freaking like... Like it... This all started when I was like 16 or 17, something like that. And obviously that's not as crazy of a story as like somebody being like, this started when I was four years old and I've grown up with these. But like my whole adulthood has been encompassed by these movies. I still remember when I saw the first freaking Iron Man and that was like, I'd always had a a vague interest in Marvel, but like that movie nailed it so much that it, it twisted on a huge, like a huge jump into more of Marvel, you know? So my emotions are just everywhere right now. Cause if anybody's seen my final fantasy 13 playthrough by the end of a long journey, a story that I get super invested in and stuff, I end up at the point where I'm like, Oh my God. You know, like even if it's a happy ending or whatever, I just end up at the point where it's like, ah. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll catch you all next time. Peace out.